Two families devastated by deadly car crashes still praying for justice. One woman, the victim of road rage. We know it's not going to bring our sister back, but we just want closure. The other woman hailed a hero for sacrificing her own life to save another. She touched everybody's life. She touched everybody's life more than I can even imagine. Both families hoping you can help them catch the drivers who killed their loved ones. I got to wake up every day reliving that I can't hear my baby talk. Arlise Coulter begins our coverage live in Dayton. The family left these stuffed animals here and even the candles they left here are still lit tonight just feet away from where the crash actually happened last week. The family tells me tonight that they're just praying for justice. Flashing lights and first responders. The chaotic scene last week on Germantown Pike. A daughter, a cousin, and a mother lost. I know my daughter's in a better place. I know that. But she didn't have babies. She, you know, it just seems unfair. Like, it, oh my God, it's, it's unfair. The family of 24-year-old Angelica Pleasant came to the site where she lost her life tonight. Balloons, candles, and tears for a life taken too soon. She touched everybody's life. She touched everybody's life more than I can even imagine. The cousin in the car with Angelica at the time of the crash, barely able to walk or stand, overcome by grief. Angelica saved her life. She covered her as the car crashed, taking the brunt of the accident. Well, I'm proud to say that's my daughter because I'd have gave my life if I was in that car the same as my daughter would. As family and friends gathered around the grieving, Angelica's mother felt the urge to talk to the driver who caused the crash. I'm not mad at the person. I just want them to feel a bit of pain that I'm feeling. A pain that she hopes one day. Thank y'all so much for sharing a part of her life. Will be eased. One, two, three. We love you, baby. By finding justice. Now, initially, neighbors told us that they believed that it was a couple cars out here drag racing the night that the crash happened. But the family tells us tonight that that wasn't the case. For now, reporting live in Dayton, Elise Coulter, Fox45Now.com. And the family is asking for the public's help in finding the person responsible. If you know who it is, please call Crime Stoppers 222-STOP.